Today's morning coffee vinyl side, the Kingston Trio, Here We Go Again, 1959. It's been over a year since the Kingston Trio last graced morning coffee vinyl side. Their records from the collection of one of my aunts were some of the very first albums we played. And we tried our best to listen to them with open ears at the time, but found it difficult to overcome the casual sexism and racism we heard littered throughout the performances, as well as struggling with the obvious contrivances of the folk conceit. This album was their fifth album, which sold almost a million copies in the first eight weeks of its release, and was one of four of their albums to hold positions on Billboard's top ten simultaneously. Not singles, but albums. It was also one of four released in 1959. For those of us used to waiting years for our favorite artists to release new music, this is difficult to reconcile. Did time move faster back then? Now, of course it didn't. What moved faster was commercialization, with the window for commercial exploitation of trends being relatively short. I note trends here as the operant word, as consumer spending and consumer behavior in general was still trend-based in its patterns and cycles. If you could catch or create a trend, you could really make some bank. The window for folk started closing almost as soon as it opened, peaking in 58 and 59, you can almost feel the rushed, disingenuousness on Mike. This might again be my own prejudice talking, my own rejection of the 50s powers that tried to snuff out my rock and roll heroes. But unlike folk, rock and roll wasn't a fad or trend. It was a fundamental cultural shift. And despite its suppression, it would soon rise again and, aided by the British invasion, would obliterate these short-sleeved, button-shirt folkies-turned-accountants, or accountants-turned-folkies, for good. This album was not as offensive to me as some, but it was boring in its sameness, despite being well-recorded. And right there on side two, second-to-last song, Bloody Goober Peas, the song that was in my head the day of my near death. Now what can you do about that? Just laugh. Just laugh.